Another assumption that I often hear is that people think that smart speakers are only used for fun, like for telling jokes. Is there more value in the services of voice assistants? After all, the fart apps and fake beer drinking apps of the early days of smartphones are long gone and everyone knows now how useful smartphone apps can be. Let's first take a look at who interacts with smart speakers. There is an interesting overlap with people living in smart homes. You can use smart speakers to control, for example, your lights, your vacuum cleaning robot, and many other devices. As such, there is naturally a large overlap between smart speaker owners and smart home device owners. As you can see in this study from VoiceBot, only relatively few people have a smart speaker who don't have at least some smart home device, like a Philips Hue lamp. On the other hand, there is still much potential of smart home device owners without a smart speaker. But are smart homes everything where smart speakers are important? Let's take a look at daily lives and focus on smart assistants like Amazon Alexa or Google Home. You can also access voice assistants from smartwatches, which is an important scenario, for example, for doing something on the go, where it's cumbersome to take your smartphone out or where the small screen of a watch is too limited for meaningful interaction. Of course, there is a lot of home automation. Examples are lamps, heating or home security. Most smart TVs or vacuum cleaning robots come with voice control nowadays. So the home of people might actually be smarter than you'd think. Nowadays, voice assistants are getting more and more popular in cars. Either car manufacturers are directly integrating voice assistants or through connected mobile devices like Android Auto or iOS CarPlay, you extend the voice assistant functionality of your phone to work inside the car as well. But what do people actually ask when talking to a smart speaker? This study from VoiceBots gives some interesting insights. The most frequent use is listening to music, which is a very natural interaction compared to controlling services like Spotify or Amazon Music on your phone. But already the number two spot is asking a question, which is a really, really open and powerful topic. The next items are already going into the needs that directly drive your behavior. For example, checking the weather setting a timer when cooking, or setting an alarm to wake up in the morning. Controlling smart home devices is further down the list. But the light blue bar is the daily usage, where it actually be on the fifth spot already. So the conclusion is that smart speakers can do more than telling jokes, and people actually use them for a variety of things. 